lost my good paying job, and now I'm working for much less. What keep me going each day is Sasha's loving caress. Listening for hours to her telling me her dream. How do I tell my precious little girl that the world isn't what it seems? She dreams of being a doctor just to help the sick. To her, everyone is the same. Doesn't matter if they're poor or rich. In a world so full of heartlessness, evil, and greed, no one should be denied help in their time of need. My eyes tears up every time I listen to her words, sounding like a song. Listening to her angelic heart is what keeps me strong. Now I need her strength because she needs a new heart. That's what the doctor told me while reading her chart. She will die if she doesn't receive a transplant. Your insurance won't cover it and you don't qualify for a grant. I had to find out that the working poor are simply shit out of luck. Go to any social agency, you'll find out that they don't give a fuck. I make too much money to qualify for welfare and not enough money for the right person to care. I will never get up. I won't let her die. Only way to beat failure is a simple try. I refuse to accept no, and I won't let them shut me out. Thinking about my baby in ICU, with her future in doubt. With our blood type being on map, my only option is to sacrifice myself. That price isn't too high for my baby's help. While praying, I spoke to a guardian angel who was assigned to us. He told me to have faith and he's someone to trust. Like a miracle, a donor match was found. A helicopter was fired a heart in from out of town. The surgery went well and Sarge survived. Looking for that guardian angel to thank him for keeping my baby alive. In this country, help never come from behind closed doors. That's what millions of Americans receive for being a working poor. I thought this is America, not Mother Russia. A place where I had contemplated suicide just to say Sasha.